Oh, see, she's got it. She's got the move. Hello, everybody, and welcome Hi. to a new video. I look so pink. <laughs> I don't look my greatest today, really, do I? Oh yeah, you do. We'll be Love the skin you're in. Don't I mean, harsh on do you know what? I feel like this hat gives me an alter ego. Though I've been dancing away all day. I feel like a lap dancer. What are you doing, <laughs> <laughs> Paul Carly? I'm not looking. <laughs> Give us 10 minutes, Carl. That, oh, yeah. Well, this is the very start of the video. Poor people oh, okay. watching. All right, all right, five then. Oh. <laughs> anyway, hello, guys. Um, those dancing clips. Oh, God. Look, I look like Sebastian. And this is why I had the cap on this morning. Nope. And no. I have to commit to the whole day if I wear one because... I'm not cherry fucking old that much weight. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Language. Oh, sorry. You're You're squishing me. Fourth word into the vlog and he's... There he is. Go, <laughs> go. I did. I've never seen you wear a hat. I bet he's got a big head. Yeah, you got a big head. I got a big head. I've got a big head as well. Did you enjoy our dancing to start this video? That was completely random. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, you know. Some of them are my key moves that I pull out. Alright, that was fucking tragic. Come on. Are they serious? That actually suits you. I know you wear hats. Oh, oh, he's gonna be in the door. <laughs> but I think hats were a good fade as well, it looks sick. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say your haircut on the side looks sick. Oh, I'm gonna keep talking about my haircut. <laughs> Carl, gets his haircut. Carl gets his haircut once a week. I couldn't believe that when you told me. Yeah, but about. I like it and it's like it's ready for occasions. Yeah. Occasions. It, it makes me feel good as well. Like, on Saturday, I was like, I'm gonna do deadlifts. So I was like, right, I'm gonna get a fade and then I'm gonna do deadlifts and I'll feel sick. I thought you were gonna say you're gonna go on a date. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, well, that felt. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> you had to bring that up, Megan, didn't you? <laughs> God's sake. Well, that's usually why someone might get a fade. Yeah, not to deadlift. Up, no, 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 it suits you. You definitely need to wear I caps. Think, I do think a hat symbolises a little bit of ego, but I think it's okay to have a bit of ego. No. <laughs> do you think? Yeah. Well, he wears so one. He's got plenty of it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you going to the gym or what? I was actually going to have a conversation with her. Get out. Get out yeah, of my I'm room. Go fueled workout. Come on then. <laughs> you can borrow my hat if you want. Go. <laughs> I missed it. Oh go on, give us a da that dance move. You wouldn't do it earlier. Go on then. <laughs> that was rubbish. We need a proper. Put in the energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right. wall, isn't it? Anyway, hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. Um, it's actually oh, this feels rather wide on the back. Yeah. Of <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got such a little mini head, yeah, pea I'm head. A <laughs> yeah, no, it's good, isn't it? Mm. ASOS head, grab it. Anyway, grab it. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd pick up my camera anyway. this evening to start this week's weekly vlog. Woman. The cap's giving me an alter ego. What? Who's, who's she called? What's a cool name that starts with M? Mich not Michelle. Maureen. Maureen. That's what mum's called. Anyway. <laughs> I feel like you've said it like five times already. <laughs> kind of like... Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, I thought I would pick up my camera this afternoon. Those dancing clips were first thing this morning, but I didn't film anything more after that. But basically, I thought this... Why are you both just watching me talk to Because it's quite fun, actually. I'm not watching you. I am. I never used to and would have done that in front of anyone. I wouldn't have talked Wait, to my camera watch. in front of anyone because I'd get yeah, too embarrassed. Um, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to try out making... It's quite early to do it, but I just thought, you know what? Why not? But I'm going to make a Weetabix overnight oat. Oh, That's yeah. Well, it's an overnight Weetabix. So Apparently, it's a... it doesn't go soggy. No, also. but it won't. Okay. So I'm basically, intrigued. this is a... Thing I saw on TikTok where a girl basically made like overnight oats, but instead of oats, it was Weetabix. So we're gonna make them now I and like then the we'll idea. see in the morning if they work. I do like the idea. I know, I, I feel like, like it would be a good idea. Weetabix was my childhood breakfast. Same. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use some Weetabix, we're gonna use some milk, 
I'm also going to use some chocolate protein and I'm going to put a bit of peanut butter in it and then some almonds on top like I usually do. The girl on TikTok, I will link the TikTok, but she used um, just uh, yogurt on top, which I don't really want to do and I don't think we actually have the yogurt. She did like a layer of Weetabix with milk all soggy and then a layer of yogurt with protein. I'm going to do it my way. It's basically like my overnight oats, but with Weetabix. I wanna be free of this heart. Feel your arms around me. Okay, Weetabix oh, <laughs> Weetabix overnight overnight Weetabix is ready to go in the fridge. We will test in the morning. Oh no, that definitely doesn't fit. Does <laughs> I'll find the lid that fits in a second, but we'll test in the morning how it tastes. But fingers crossed, then we'll have like a variation between overnight oats. And overnight wheat bix. <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> hey, that's enough. Look at these. I was just on a bub bub bub. It's a printer. I know it's new to the house, but we can't be mad at everything new that enters the house, please. <laughs> He's. <laughs> I can't. I didn't even know he was going to do that when I picked up my camera. Right. That's enough. You see what's coming out of this printer? It's nothing scary, I promise. He's so mad. Right, let's stop that now. You two egg each other on and it drives me mad. Shush. Shush your mush. Shush your mush. I've just come off a call. This is not great. Next to this little man. He wasn't happy that I was on a meeting, but I just came off a really cool, cool call. <laughs> I basically had a meeting about my new... Right, it's literally not gonna get you, so I don't know why you're so mad about it. I think, I think maybe, right, should we go out for a wee and calm ourselves down, shall we? Um, right, that's enough, he's still mad. Right, let's go for outside. Come on then, out you go. And the printing will be done when you're back. There we go. Blueba, you can stay with me because you have a little bit more of a brain. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I had a really, really cool call. Um, it was about my new, oh, hello? It was about my new brand, which you guys know, I know I always go on about it, um, but basically we are currently planning the campaign for the launch, which is so cool. Wait a sec, I'm just gonna change my battery because it's making me feel on edge that I'm suddenly gonna not die, but it's gonna suddenly finish right there. And we're back, but um, yeah, we were talking about the campaign for the launch and also the shoot, which we are, okay, I'll give you a little sneak peek, but we are gonna be shooting it, I think, in Morocco, which is so exciting, but that shouldn't really give too much away of what it is yet, but yeah, we're just kind of planning that with them. I did actually film some of the meeting, so I might pop in some clips if I can, and it doesn't give too much away. The thing that me and Harry thought really worked well in this video was the way that he transitions between shots and the significant transition they can be going from a bus to an airplane or something and just using that sort of similar concept i think would be really effective just like that yeah but clearly show like the difference between the uh... yeah it was really really cool but i am now printing something because I thought, I've never done this before, but I've always been intrigued by it. And because I'm really finding like my journaling and all these little daily habits, like walking first thing in the morning with the dogs and Niall and um, training earlier and just these little intentions I've made this year make such a difference to my days. I was like, do you know what? As cliche as it is, some of you may roll your eyes at me doing this, but I'm going to make a vision board. So I ordered a printer because we've needed one for ages anyway. My accountant is always like, Megan, you need a printer, you're a grown woman. <laughs> so I got us a printer, that's why Basil is mad at it because he's never seen one before. Um, and I also ordered myself a cork board off Amazon so that I can pop this next to my desk and look at it. <laughs> and hopefully it will inspire me daily. But if you don't know what a um, vision board is, I don't really that much either, so I'm not a pro at this. But I think essentially what you do is 
kind of like print out things that inspire you that you want to do this year or I don't know just quotes that give you like good vibes and inspire you every time you look at it so I've done that I've picked out some things I've printed them off I'm going to pop them on here and then I'm going to show you what I've printed although I feel like some of it is quite personal and I will have to explain what some of it means <laughs> but I'll give you a little show once I pop them on this board but I ordered this off Amazon and I just thought it was the easiest way because it also comes with these little pins so I'm gonna get cutting and pinning and I will show you guys when I have something on here should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight call you mine think about you every time Okay, this has turned out so good. I think it just looks so cool, doesn't it? Look at that. Bloomin' love it. So, I'm not going to explain absolutely everything. I will explain a couple of bits just because I feel like it's nice to chat about like goals and what I would love in the future, blah, blah, blah. And kind of like just my biggest sort of dreams and... Yeah, things that make me happy. So, some like little quotes. So I love, I love like just the style of that as well, but life is better when you're laughing. Cause I want to have as much fun as I can this year and I want to be silly and be unapologetically me as I've said. So I've got a couple of quotes along those lines across this. And this is to remind myself that I can do it. Even when my brain says you can't, you can do it. You got this. <laughs> also got this one, which I, love as well and then <laughs> i feel like this one looks really weird there this is actually um charlotte tilbury's niece sophia tilbury it's who i did my masterclass with in the summertime but she's on there because i just was like i would love to do more of charlotte tilbury i'd love to be that good at makeup i just yeah so <laughs> she's there because i would really like to do lots more of charlotte tilbury We've got a utility room, because one day I'd love my utility room to look as together as this. Got a Coachella picture here, because me and Nala go to Coachella, and it's just something I'm so excited, and just like a bucket list thing. It makes me happy. We've got Harry Styles, <laughs> just because I love him. But also, do you know what? Some of these goals to do of work, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say. <laughs> But I would love one day to do some presenting. So that is why that is there. And also why this is here is because I would also love to present on a red carpet. Not walk the red carpet, but be like one of the presenters who interviews the people on the red carpet sort of thing. So that's why they're there. I've got some garden party vibes because I want to have some garden parties this summer. We've got cosy days because they're my favourite. Just love setting up the house like this and being cosy. Beyond, of course, because there's so much I want to do of Beyond this year. We've got a random groom and bride. <laughs> I do feel like it's a bit weird having like randomers on here. I should have maybe taken, you know, a picture of me and Niall, but I just thought they looked really cool and like... I don't know. I want to be that kind of couple when I get married and have fun. Um, we've got this because I want to do some Beyond events, hopefully. We've got this because I just want to have fun with my friends on the beach, hopefully. This because I one day, this is, a, this is not like this year vibe, but one day I would love, it's like my dream to have high ceilings in my house. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if that will happen, but maybe if it's on my vision board... It will, I don't know. But yeah, I would love to have high ceilings and big windows. It's just a big dream. We've got Mamma Mia because you know what I'm like and um, we're having our wedding in Greece. So that's gonna be me and Niall on the beach singing to each other. <laughs> Maybe not singing to each other, but um, we also have this because this is just like Greek vibes and it's kind of exactly what it looks like where we're gonna be getting married. This because of a safari vibes and I just thought, because we're going on our honeymoon on safari, it just makes me excited, some more Greek wedding vibes. Now this is here because another big dream of mine is to one day do a Christmas album. I know some people might be like, what? <laughs> but it's just one of those things that I would just love to do one day, but yeah. Anyway, that is most of the board to be fair. I did say I wasn't gonna sort of talk through absolutely everything, but <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pop this. I think behind there, wait there, wait, let me put you down and I can put it there so that when I'm sat doing my work at the computer, hopefully it will just inspire me and I will 
bring in the vibes of these things coming true. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks gorgeous. It's a really nice thing to do. I actually really enjoyed making that as well. So um, if you want a little bit of inspo in your life and something to motivate you and just make you feel inspired, that was actually quite fun. But yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm doing loads since the new year just to like try and live day to day a bit happier and that's kind of what I was trying to say earlier when I was talking about like my morning walks and just little mini changes in habits that I've actually for once done this year like I always say to myself I want to do this this and this to try and you know get up earlier etc go to the gym earlier but I never actually do it but this year I've made such an effort and it's really really made a difference and I'm really pleased anyway I actually am going to dye my eyebrows now. I'm trying to remember where I put my, oh God, that toilet seat is broken. <laughs> um, I'm gonna dye my eyebrows with my dye brow from Eilia. And I also am gonna run myself a bath and scrub my tan off and retan because me and Nile are going out for the day tomorrow for my Christmas present. And I'll be bringing you guys as well. And um, I wanna just look snazzy. I'm having like, one of those times where my skin is just like really patchy and although I did try and exfoliate the other night it just didn't really work. If any of you have any tips actually on exfoliating your tan off without it going patchy please let me know because I'm still not very good at that and it, it often even though I think I'm scrubbing it off then when I look at it after it's not it's like all scaly so anyway yeah I'm going to tint my eyebrows get myself in the bath and get myself nice and tanned and fresh and probably watch The Simpsons. Good morning everybody. It is the moment of truth. Wait a minute, I can't get this off. I'm going to try these overnight Weetabix. Sizz. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Oh yeah, I'm intrigued actually. Overnight Weetabixes. So, so, I did have some thoughts last night that maybe this might be horrible because I <laughs> I don't like soggy I, Weetabix, but it's did hard. Get, did I get into your head? He you did a little bit, because Niall knows I hate soggy Weetabix, but it is quite hard, which is a good sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? I'm smiling because I'm right. <laughs> no, you're not. I mean, it's not awful, but I think I prefer the texture of overnight oats. It's a little you bit like soggy weed to this. It's it's not soggy actually. It's just it tastes a little bit. Or well, the texture is a bit. Because I'm one of those people that's massively affected by. Where did you find that recipe? TikTok. I think you should name and shame the person. <laughs> <laughs> they did theirs a little bit different. To be fair, it's nice, but I'm I'm really affected by the texture of food. So like the reason I hate mushrooms is <laughs> you don't like it. It's because they're squishy. And it's the same. What else is don't I like? No, like aubergine. I have issues with squishy food, and this this is a bit squishy, isn't it? I thought you quite like aubergines, actually. Oh my god, that's so good. Someone's feeling cheeky this morning. I thought you were quite fond of the old aubergine. <laughs> bad, but it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful. Give it a 5 out of 10. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Anyway, good morning everybody. We are up this morning having our overnight breakfasts <laughs> together now has overnight oats. We have just been for our morning walk, which we have been doing in our routine still, haven't we? Yeah. Which you will have seen in another vlog probably if you saw it, but we're going out first thing as soon as we wake up in the mornings, having our morning mockers and coffees and getting, oh, hang on a minute, Dill wants to go out. Well, I've come down, that was more exciting. <laughs> same garden we've had for a while <laughs> but yeah we we've been going out first thing in the morning with the dogs and it's been so good for our headspace and our relationship actually oh, I'm gonna right. go to those lengths Calm down. no but I feel like we have a nice sort of like chat as yeah. soon as we wake up but anyway it's a chance to connect first thing in the it morning it does so then Doesn't we it? don't stay disconnected for the rest of the day exactly even when we're not together we are after a <laughs> We've got Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory on today. Guess what we're doing today, guys? Dun 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 dun. Oh, what's that version? Dun 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 
That's like that reminds me of like Scar from the Lion King. It's kind of like a little bit camp sort of yeah. musical. Kind yeah. Of. yeah, we are going to Harry Potter World, which was my Christmas present from Niall. So I'm very, very excited about that. But first off, we're having our breakfast. We've been for our morning walk. I'm covered in dog juice because we just bathed them. Don't say dog juice. <laughs> That's not the right choice of word. Dog juice. Dog, dog wet. Imagine I'm covered in Megan juice. Well, I'm in in your end of the morning. It's not an innuendo. But we are going to pop to the gym quickly, aren't we? I'm going to do a Les Mills. I'm going to do a little bit of cardio. I'm, hang on a minute, I don't like speaking when I've got wee bix in the mouth. Especially when it's soggy. Especially when it's soggy. <laughs> I'm hoping to do some sprints. Do you know what else I want to do? What? I want to try and practice those hanging leg raises. Oh yeah. For my abs, because I enjoyed that the other day. Maybe you can come and join me and we'll just do a couple. Yeah, I'll do some of Because I'm not very good at them. After my last meals. Yeah, after my sprints. Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably bring you guys as well to the gym. And then we're going to get ready and go for our day out Woo! for my Christmas prezi. Goodbye, good evening! <laughs> dry I was just drying my hair and in he runs <laughs> he's looking at the hair dryer right now it's right here ready for his blow dry do you want a bit come on in come on in let's give you a bit of a blow dry <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh is that nice on your belly <laughs> Okay, I'm just getting ready and I'm going to try this new Charlotte Tilbury foundation today. They very kindly have sent this over to me to try. But I have actually had this on already the other week when I had my bow and tea shoots. My makeup artist used it. But I haven't tried using it myself. So I'm going to have a go today because it looked so, so nice. And my makeup artist was saying to me that it's basically like very similar to the foundation that I use usually. But it's actually even more glowy which is exactly what i love so i usually use a mix of the flawless filter <laughs> you can't even see what it says anymore but it's the charlotte tilbury flawless filter and i kind of put that just a little sort of dab there there and there to start and then i use the light wonder foundation and i think i've used this for like five years now and i just love it it is the best wait <laughs> going up <laughs> just lifting up the drawer that you're on <laughs> this new foundation apparently is quite similar but even nicer so we're gonna have a go today i'm trying the shades seven neutral and eight neutral and my makeup artist said to me she used a mix of both so let's see <laughs> if it looks as good when i do it but as well, I put this on my story that they'd arrived from Charlotte Tilbury and so many of you are like, oh, can you show us in a vlog? So this is me showing you in a vlog to see if we like it. And I will tell you if I prefer it to my usual, which is the Light Wonder, or if I still prefer the Light Wonder, because nothing has beat the Light Wonder for me yet. I don't like too much coverage. I don't like to look matte. And this is the Flawless Filter, by the way. This is kind of a foundation, but it's... Is it a foundation? I don't know, but it's, it, I use it kind of to like balance out my skin at the start, which is what um, Sophia Tilbury taught me on that masterclass I did with her during the summer. And it's just very light, but it just kind of like, kind of helps skin. I've already moisturized and stuff as well. So this is the eight. I feel like maybe I'm more of a seven at the moment because I'm not tan from holiday or anything, but this is this maybe we'll try the seven today actually <laughs> this is not usually what i do i usually put it on the brush but i'm trying to be cool and makeup worthy <laughs> okay foundation is on 
I haven't actually popped on my concealer or I often also put a little bit of powder in like my t-zone so that I don't look kind of shiny but I just wanted to show you the foundation before I do the rest of my makeup by itself I actually think it may be the light wonder what do we think guys I feel like it is very slightly more glowy even though the light wonder is super glowy and it's very very slightly higher coverage and to be honest sometimes I do find the light wonder is a tiny bit too light coverage so it's feels to me like the perfect like I don't know look at that look at that glow it's so radiant so I actually was using the shade 8 I think I said I was using the shade 7. I used the shade 8 mainly and then I, I mixed in a little bit of 7 so that it wasn't too dark for my skin. Do you know what I want to do? I want to zoom into my skin so you can see up close. Hang on. Let's see if this works. I might go out of focus. Wait there. Can you see? Look at that glow. <laughs> this is very up close and personal. But look at it. That is so... This isn't an ad, by the way. <laughs> I'm just trying it because I love Charlotte Tilbury and I do find changing foundation is really scary because I don't know I'm a creature of habit and I like the light wonder and I was just like you know what I don't need to change but my makeup artist did say to me this one sits even nicer on my skin I love it I'm obsessed anyway I'm gonna finish my makeup get myself ready do you know what I was thinking of doing today for my hair but it may not work out because I feel like I always think about doing this hairstyle and then I feel really silly when I try and I just don't think my hair's quite thick enough for it <laughs> but I want to do like some really messy space buns but will I look two years old? Probably. <laughs> The space buns worked. Even Niall likes them. <laughs> you mean even Niall? I swear when I've done these ones before as a joke, you were like, what are you doing with your hair? You look like an alien. No, they no. do look a bit alien-y, but they've turned out okay today because they're nice and messy and then I like the front bits, but... We're ready. I quite like my outfit. Do you like yours? Yeah, it's all right. Looking snazzy, honey. I've got honey. two different shoes on at the moment, though, so we better sort that out. Yeah, you should probably wear the same shoes, really. But I have on my Nike top, which is from ASOS. It's just a little crop tee. It's a little bit see-through, so I'm going to wear the blazer over the top of the boobs. And then this is a old faux leather blazer from Nasty Gal, which I completely forgot I had. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this more because I really like the vibe. And then I've got some Nasty Gal baggy jeans on. These are from more Wait, I've said this wrong before. Because it's an Irish name. How do you say M A E V E? Mo I declare you a knight, Master Niall. <laughs> Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Her Majesty. <laughs> Shit. How do you say M A E V E, the name? More, more, Mauve. 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 Mauve Riley. She's Hayley Bieber's stylist. These are from her collection. And then I've got on my Jordans. I'm feeling so snazzy today. You know, I'm just. Enjoying fashion at the moment, you know. Oh, I, am. You I like you my are fashion. I am fashion. I know. No, I'm joking. But I like my outfit the other day, and I like it again today. And the other thing I thought I would actually pop on because Niall's mum got me for Christmas this, which is so so nice of her. It's the Gucci perfume, and I haven't tried it yet. It's got this little. The bottle is so pretty, but it's also got this little roller rollerball thing that you can like take around and I mean I've already smelt it and it smells lovely but I haven't actually worn it out properly yet oh it's so nice I love a bit of a sweet scent I'm not like one of those people like my mum wears I don't know if any of you guys have tried it but the angel perfume I love it on her because it reminds me it's like a it feels like a mum smell to me because she's always worn it but I'm much more into like my sweeter tones and this one really smells like that but this how gorgeous is that bottle? This is the one that Miley Cyrus is in the TV ad for. Do you know the one I mean? So I'm going to pop a little bit of this on. Oh yeah, love a good scent. Yeah, do you know what though? They have, I think they've got like all the real props from Harry Potter there. So how did, they can't have 
have another one of these anywhere. Can they? Alright. Oh, no, maybe not. I, am, I can't know. I, they must have something in America. Anyway, do you know what I am going to put on? I'm going to change Harry Potter because I'm going to put on... Oh, hang on, Place. hang on. Play 17 Going Under by Sam Fender. I remember sickness was forever. Buses of kids. <laughs> one, one bus came up and everyone had a red hat on. Oh. Maybe they're Trump supporters. <laughs> Maybe not. Anyway, we're going in. I'm excited. I'm actually, I'm actually buzzing. I'm not gonna. You're lie. Buzzing. I'm buzzing. I don't know what to expect. Look at these. Also... These are from the film, aren't they? These yeah. little guys. What, do you reckon they're actually from the film? Well, yeah. Most of this. That's why they've got this because they've kept all of the props and stuff. Oh my god. I'm. I might I might get goosebumps when we, <laughs> when we go into the hall. <laughs> First stop, food hall. We've got the, the Hazapi tunes in the background, which are making me feel zen. You can't, win, got... you can't win Guardian Levio Sara on an empty stomach. Can you? No, you can't. You definitely can't Abada Kadabra on an empty stomach either. You definitely can't. Or Oh no, that is the one I thought of. <laughs> it's you know another one, dear. What's another one? It's many arms. Oh, there we go. We've got the hanging candles. I was just saying to now, these remind me of the ones I put up at Halloween in our house. Love them. Oh my gosh, it's the hall now. I think this is the room I'm most excited to see. Yes, come on in, come on in. Happy birthday, Mr. Potter, as well. As we make our way in through to the great hall. And uh, this is an absolute first for the studio tour. The first time you've actually dressed this particular setup to look like that iconic scene where Fred and George come flying into the great hall <laughs> during the hour examination. Set um, all manner of fireworks. Oh. And, uh, do this every day and I'm still so amazed by you so hold me tight Try the famous. Oh, it smells very sweet. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be beer? <laughs> I know that you're gonna like it. It's really sweet because I can tell. Peanuts. Pe peanuts. <laughs> this doesn't peanuts. sound like the same word. Noel just said you just said that to yourself. I thought I was like just sat here and you went. I'm toasting peanuts. Peanuts. All day long, I've got these jokes in my head all day I long. I thought you just had a so mouth function for a second when I first said you do that. I'm toasting peanuts. Peanuts. If a, pe <laughs> if a penis is called a penis, surely a woman's bit should be called a vagina. Do you think? Do you not think you like that one? <laughs> yeah, that one, don't you? That Would you want to just rename science? That wasn't really a, meant to be like as a joke, but I was just thinking. <laughs> Why that should? Sounds better than or vagina. maybe a, a penis should be a penina. Penina. <laughs> a penine. Penina. But vagina penina. <laughs> anyway, moving along. Um, 
Hello, we are back from Harry Potter. We've been back for a while, but I haven't picked up my camera. But it's now the evening, it's 8 p.m. We're sat on the sofa, we're getting snuggly. Do you know what I'm gonna do now that we're chilling? I am going to play Harry Potter. And do you know what I'm which one I'm gonna play? Goblet of Fire, because that's my favorite one. What's your favorite Harry Potter film, son? Tell me. Uh, What's yours, guys? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite Harry Potter film? I also like The Goblet of Fire. Do you? Yeah. That's number four, I if anyone doesn't know. I like The Goblet of Fire, Half Blood Prince, and part two of the last one. Part one of the last one is a little bit boring, I think. Anyway, I feel like I have overloaded you with Harry Potter today, and if you don't like Harry Potter, you're probably gonna hate me. But that is the end of it now, but I am gonna watch it with my dinner. But we're home, we're chilling. Harry Potter world was so good, wasn't it? It was so, oh, and I said I wasn't gonna talk about Harry Potter anymore. It was really good. So if you ever can go, I would 100% go if you like Harry Potter. It's so interesting and just so incredible how much thought went into actually making those films. Like literally, they drew it first, then they made little models of each scene, and then they, built each scene, it's yeah, just well, mental. I find films in general very fascinating how they make them. Yeah, but Harry Potter has like a lot of really extraordinary like sets. It's just amazing. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about Harry Potter anymore. But me and Niall are gonna have some dinner together. I actually wanted to make some burritos with him, but he wanted to make this because he's trying it to cook tomorrow to film for the good bite. And what is this, Chef Niall? Peanut fried rice. <laughs> you said that so quick. You're <laughs> just trying to shut me up. Peanut fried rice, right? Peanut fried rice. <laughs> All right. Not penis fried rice. Oh my god. And that's why he was talking about peanuts, by the way. Um, and do you know what else I might do? I might do a bit of Lego. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because we were in the gift shop and there was a Lego. I'll tell, I'll tell you for why. I was in the gift shop of Harry Potter World. That wasn't very good. I'm supposed to be Welsh and I can't even do the accent. I'll tell you for why. I was in Harry po I was at Harry Potter World. No. no, I can't do it. And I was in a gift shop gift and they shop. had a Hogwarts Lego. That was so rubbish. I Lego. literally have lost it. I like used to be able to, to talk like I know, but I literally don't spend enough time with her at the moment. Miss you, Brian. <laughs> that sounded like a dig. <laughs> no, it wasn't a dig. We talk all the time, we just don't see each don't other. Don't see like... Bright enough. I don't see her enough. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll tell you for why, because I was in Harry Potter World, I was at a gift shop, oh that was all right, and they had a Hogwarts Lego. Now I was gonna buy it, but I didn't. And why was that? Why? Because it was 90 pounds! 90 bloody pounds! <laughs> but I actually Lego. did. <laughs> I know! Lego is really expensive though. I remember my brothers used to, to use it all the time when they were we were little. And my parents were like, You want. My Aunt Gwyneth sold a saxo for that! <laughs> but we have this one. Um, it's a Winnie the Pooh one we've had for ages and I've never made it. And this one actually has 1,265 pieces. So I feel like. Although it's Winnie the Pooh and it should be really easy, I don't think it will be. So I might try. <laughs> Why are you smoking? She's yeah, ready. that Winnie the Pooh Lego is going to be really challenging. <laughs> sure I might have a go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening, guys. But I just thought I'd give Come you a little on. update on my relaxing evening of peanut penis rice. <laughs> <laughs> peanut penis rice <laughs> and Winnie the Pooh Lego. <laughs> show us, show us, show us your cap, show us your cap, just show us your cap. Show us, show us, show us, you put it on the sideways. Show us your cap. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? From Gryffindor, man. Come <laughs> to lay some bars, man. Go on, then. Bar in the booth. Oh, go on, you gotta try and do a bit of slate. Get, get Dumbledore in there. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, come on. I've got, I've got no ideas. Come on. can't, no. Harry Potter was on a... Strotter. He couldn't help Ron, because Ron was a... Trotter. <laughs> Hermione was frizzy, but... She gets a bit dizzy. I got, I got, I got. Okay, go on then. Young HP, flying on his broom. Leaving bare girls 
crying in their rooms <laughs> that Lord Voldemort is destined for doom because I'm gonna get him up the poom poom because <laughs> I'm gonna go and kick him in his poom <laughs> Poo, like, poo. It's been so much genitalia talk. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. It's now the next day, and I am just about to leave the house and head to London in about 10 minutes. I'm actually heading to London this afternoon to get my hair done. I'm gonna have a little bit of a transformation, and I think more than my usual when I get my hair done. So please excuse, my hair is looking very crazy after those space buns yesterday and I just thought there's no point in me doing anything with it because it's gonna get washed and dyed and cut this afternoon. So yeah, I just didn't really wanna put any heat on it because there's no point. But, Russell's looking at me. You look like a hippie little man. He's like, peace and love. <laughs> Um, I was just actually in here because I was filming the start of a TikTok, so I want to do like a little transformation. Um, I would show you it, but it's not very interesting at the moment, just having the before. But I'm so enjoying TikTok. I did just want to say that if you would like to follow my TikTok, I will link it on screen and in the description box. <laughs> it's not everyone's vibe, I know, because TikTok's very like silly and I don't know. I really like it though. I feel like it's really, really fun. But anyway, I am get myself ready to go to get my hair done. Basically, right, what I want to do, let me show you some of my inspo. What I'm thinking is I want to maybe get some bangs. Now, I never was really interested in them before when they were quite a big trend last year. I just never could be bothered. But I thought, well, actually, I saw someone with them, which I thought looked really, really good. Let me show you this picture. Um, a girl called In The Fro posted this story, and I just love how that front bit looks. So I'm hoping to do something like that. I don't want to do anything too crazy, because my wedding is in five months, and, like, my hairdresser has said to me, you know, you need to make sure you don't do anything that you can't change now before your wedding kind of thing. But because my front bits are already and always have... Get a Mohican. Where the heck did you come from? That was so quiet. We need to go in a sec, is that all right? That's why I came Give up. Give me a lift to the station. I'm like your dad. I'm your dad. <laughs> I'm even making sure that you're not late for oh, it. Oh, look at Pop. Oh. She looks so cute. Oh, Basil looks cute. I today. know, he does. Hello, baby boy. He sat on the dressing table chair with me while I got did my makeup, and he was just snuggling and giving me kisses. He's so cute, isn't he? And you're a bit fed up with your brother being there. Oh, no, he is And he's like, oh, I just want my own space again now, please. <laughs> yeah, he probably does a little bit, because he still keeps <laughs> growling at you, doesn't he? You don't really do that. Whenever he wants to snooze, he always goes up to Bluegrass, still though. Oh. To, to like come up. Yeah, I'm hoping to do something like that with the front bits because I thought as well because I always do wear my hair up more than down, and even when it's down, I think it'll just look really cool. It's kind of like a 90s look because I want them to be kind of like that, and because I wear my hair up all the time and I always have these face framing bits down, um, I just feel like at the moment they're a little bit unshaped so it'll give them a bit of shape but then if I do want to do sleek I can just like do it with product so I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna go quite a bit blonder I think which I'm hoping will look lovely. Oh Carl's downstairs. Carl can you hear me talking to myself? Um, <laughs> Other thing I just very quickly wanted to show you before we head off because I wanted to just get it out. I have this package here from H&M Home. I have no idea why it is this big because there's not really anything in there. I think it's because one of the things is a bit fragile. Here he is. McMizzle in the building. Okay, on the deck. McMizzle on the decks making some training pecs. Pecs. Oh my god, you should have heard Niles did a <laughs> Niles did a Harry Potter rap last night. <laughs> it was like Harry Potter in on his broom. Something in the room, Voldemort up the poon. I can't remember what, what he said now. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm just gonna quickly get this out because, wait there, let me pop you down. I'm not gonna get everything out of here now because I'm not that good for time, but there is something I just wanna get out because I'm giving the bathroom upstairs a little bit of a re -judge. This is what I'm gonna take upstairs. There is 
one other thing in there which is very very cute and it's something to do with clouds <laughs> but I'm gonna get that out another time because I'm having a little bit of a rejuge of this area as well I've actually sold this mirror to somebody on Instagram because I wanted to change it up a little bit but we are having a slight rejuge of this main bathroom so if you can see I actually ordered this new shower curtain from Amazon recently with peaches on but our current one was just disgusting and it just got all like to stain at the bottom but also this bath tray has just also gone disgusting we've had that for years from the white company and i've been on the hunt for a while now to find a new one but they're quite hard to come by when they look quite like sort of i don't know just not tacky cheap looking a lot of them are but i saw this one on h&m home and i thought it was lovely and i really feel like thank god that fits i was a little bit concerned because <laughs> this bath's quite wide but I feel like they really make a bath look nice with a little candle on there. You can put your glass of wine on there. You know I love my bath. And the other thing I've got is a new bath mat. Riveting stuff, I know. But I've got a new bath mat because also our bath mat has just gone disgusting. I ordered this one from Urban Outfitters which says rise and shine, I thought that was so cute. And me and Nell usually use this bathroom more than our other bathroom now because our shower needs a little bit of a fix. So I thought that'd be a really nice thing to step out on in the morning, rise and shine after our morning dog walks. So I will get that out properly and get rid of these two. I think they need to just, just go in the bin. But um, yeah, I thought they were lovely anyway. That's my little research of the bathroom. I am going to get myself in the car and head to London. I'm going to grab my laptop so I can do some of my work while we're there. It's salon day. We're having a proper change up today as well. I haven't really had like a haircut shape, like a different look. Kind of like this. I want a little bit more around the front so it's a bit like that. I do feel like it will work nicely, but it'll grow back, won't it? But <laughs> something along those lines. I feel like it's very 90s. So, fingers crossed, we don't look like that. I can imagine me now. Do we like it? Mm. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you in London. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase. Everything is going just great. How have you been? Oh, look at the twins. Oh, we're out of focus. Are we out of focus? We're a little bit out of focus. There's my big girl. Have you been a good girl this this day? <laughs> my brain's gone. Right, guys, let me show you my hair. The only thing is, right, I need to give it a bit of a style. So we cut in the bangs after we dried it and basically she was like we should have done this before so it should have been like a wet cut because then my parting was not falling right so it looks a bit funny and because then i ran to the train it's just gone all over the shop but you can kind of see what we got going on kind of so <laughs> i need to have a play around and work out what style i like i can kind of just have it so you can't even really tell but i've got a few little really small wispy bits cut in so it can kind of look like that which I feel is like very Mary Kate and Ashley. What do we think? Do we like it? It's also a lot blonder and I really like the color. I've kept my natural root because I just want it to like grow out nicely and I just like a bit of natural root now. But I really like, do you like the bangs? The bangs. I feel like I need to give them a style, but. I'm a fan of the bangs. With it up as well. Looking snazzy, what do so you think? Elegant. <laughs> So elegant. <laughs> so elegant. <laughs> oh, oh, they're going mad. I think they need a wee. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is my hair. I'm really, really happy with it. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. It's, it's basically exactly what I wanted. And I'm really happy with the tone of the blonde. It's, did you like the blonde? We didn't really see it in the car. It's quite a lot blonder, isn't it? But then I've kept my natural root, so it's nice and it still looks relatively natural, although it obviously isn't. But <laughs> kind of. Even though it's all. <laughs> it's 
all fake. Everything is fake. <laughs> no, it's not really. This is all my natural hair too, which makes me really happy because I never ever would, would have before wore my natural hair down because it was just so thin. But I think it's doing really well, you know? Oh, it's doing well. Isn't it doing well? Doing and really I've well. just started to own the thin hair look because Hayley Bieber does it. Actually, to be fair, her hair is thicker than mine, but <laughs> I just feel like the wispy hair suits me better anyway. I'm not a big, bouncy, wavy person. I have never have Your been. It's, anyway. it's not in my jeans. It's quite thin. I mean, it's looking nice and nice and nice now because I've just been at the hairdressers. You can kind of see the blonde properly there too. Oh, I love it. I do love a bit of bright blonde me. But anyway, that is the hair. I'm really happy. I went to my usual salon, which is Glow in Fulham. I'll link them in the description box. They are my favourite. I've gone to them for like six years now. Maybe, no, must be more than that. Seven years or something. Anyway, I am going to finish this vlog here, I think, because it's very long. But <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me for the past few days here and there. And I will hopefully see you in my next video very soon. I will have worked out how to make this hair look cool by then, I hope. <laughs> it's going to be a work in progress and I'm going to have to get used to it because I've not had hair like this since I was really young. So we're just going to, we're just going to go with it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. Sending you all my love and I will hopefully see you very, very soon for another video.